Here are a few tips for selecting objects and colour blocks in a design. Most of us will be familiar with the pick tool which is common to a wide range of software. The ES pick tool or select objects tool as it is referred to in Embroidery Studio is found in the toolbox. When selected and then clicking on an object either in the colour object list or in the work area the object will be highlighted. If selected in the work area the focus will identify those objects in the object property box. Notice my selected objects turn pink. Look for the article on background and display colors to see how I've set this up. Here's a good tip for you. In this design, there are a couple of objects that occupy a common area and it is difficult to select the object I want. Holding down the number two on the keyboard as I click, will cycle through the objects in the common area. The select tool is comprised of five methods of selecting an object. The black arrow as we've discussed. The freehand select tool where you left click, hold and drag around the object you wish to select. The third icon I will come back to in a moment. The fourth icon, the polygon select, which you click around the object or objects. Both the second and fourth methods will only select objects that are totally enclosed. So any object you pass through will not be selected. The fifth icon is a line select and will select anything you click into. You must pass through the edge of an object, but you do not have to pass through the object completely. Finalize the selection with the Enter key. The third icon will select the object in which the cursor is located. To better explain this, we need to look at the travel toolbar. Left or right clicking on any of these icons will travel you forward or back through the design by the property of that icon. Look for the article on Travel Toolbar for more detail. In this case, I've traveled through the design to the 168th stitch, but I'm not sure in which object the cursor is located. Clicking and releasing the third icon will give me the answer. The third object in the first color block. On a similar line, a feature in ES 4.2 is to left click and hold down on a color chip in the working palette and that color block will be displayed on the work area and the other objects hidden while the left mouse button is held down. You can select objects by color or stitch type from the edit menu. You can see here the first color red occurs three times in the sequence of the design. 